I'm over it. I'm done wholesaling, guys. Psych! That was clickbait. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely not done wholesaling. That was a huge joke. But I am switching up the game. I am getting my real estate license. Yes, yes, I know. I wasn't crazy about it before, um, but yeah, I'm going to get licensed. So with that being said, yeah, I'm getting my real estate license and I'm going to make the best of it. So I do think that getting a real estate license comes with a lot of different things. Um, there's a lot of pros and some cons, um, especially being in the real estate world or in the investing world, I should say. Um, but I'll go over a couple of reasons as to why I want to get my license or why I'm working towards getting my license because I'm currently studying for it. I started yesterday and there, there is a lot of information, but hopefully, you know, it won't be too bad. So I'm currently working on getting licensed in Pennsylvania and then I'm going to get licensed in New Jersey. Why I'm doing Pennsylvania first, even though I live in New Jersey, is just because I know a lot of investors in PA that are currently looking to do business. And of course, I'm going to get licensed in Jersey to service my my network, my close knit, my close network, um, friends, family, everything like that. So sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise. It's a little party going on upstairs. <laughs> so yeah, a couple reasons why I wanted to get my license. So first and foremost, um, as you guys see in my stories, as, well not lately, but you'll see in my stories that when we go on seller appointments, sometimes, uh, you know, these these homeowners don't necessarily need to sell for fast cash, which is what a wholesaler can service you on or, or a cash buyer. So sometimes they can just um, list it on the market. And even though they don't want to deal with a realtor because like I'm in front of them um, and I've built rapport with them already, you know, they want to work with me. But when it comes to wholesale numbers, the numbers just don't work. So, you know, they, they talk about how they want to work with me, but I'm not a real estate agent. So I'll refer to them. I'll refer them, you know, other real estate agents. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the deal just doesn't get done for whatever reason. Sometimes realtors don't want to deal with you as a wholesaler or an investor, or they just drop the ball or whatever the reason may be. So I'm just like, you know what? Why not just keep it in house? You know, granted, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who wants to leverage systems and people as much as possible. So I don't want to do more work, but Hey, you got to do what you got to do. So why not keep it in house, list it myself and get some commission on it. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Bring some more money in for myself, bring some more money in for the business and you know, keep it pushing that way. So that's definitely one reason that I, I, I wanted to get licensed. Another reason is because basically I, if you guys have been following me for a while, you, you'll know that like I've been doing a lot of digital marketing um, prior to real estate and I know how to generate leads for real estate agents. Um, I'm pretty well versed in the online marketing world and I'm just going to leverage that and I'm not going to be doing what I did for wholesaling to generate leads, which was cold calling, uh, text messaging, voicemail. Like I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to generate leads using online marketing, which is my thing. So, you know, if I could generate leads for myself, it'll be pretty simple, maybe not easy, but pretty simple to, you know, bring some traffic and, and start doing some deals right away. Um, so that's the plan, you know, that's a perfect plan. And then, you know, hopefully, who knows, maybe I can leverage that and, and do some marketing for other agents. We'll see how this goes. I mean, and obviously getting my license is just another tool in the tool belt. So, you know, obviously to be able to convert as many leads as possible, you want to have as many tools in your tool belt. And, um, you know, I already got the wholesale and down pack. I understand creative financing very well. Being a licensed agent is just another tool. So I'm going to leverage it to the best of my ability. And then obviously like the basics, being able to run comps, you know, using the MLS, pull cash buyers, um, expired listings, you know, just being able to pull leads and, and get the accurate data, which, I mean, there's other programs out there that'll help you definitely do that. But, um, you know, being ha able to have direct access is, is nice as well. And then obviously to take advantage of the MLS, which is the biggest, you know, listing, listing service nationwide for houses. That's where 90% of the deals are done. Um, you know, I could use that and, and we want to put in offers ourselves on, on properties that we want to take down, buy and hold. So that'll be good. And I could just represent myself on these offers, you know, and then obviously continue to build my real estate network. Once I'm officially an agent, um, you know, they said you have to pick a niche, you know, and my niche is definitely going to be working with investors because I know how investors think, you know, coming from being immersed in the, in the investing world for the past two years. Um, I definitely have a good idea of what investors are looking for because me 
still being an investor is going to have that same mindset and they're going to look for the same things. Um, and obviously I'm going to continue to build my investing network and now an agent network. So I definitely want to service investors basically the way that I wanted to be serviced by other agents. And I'm kind of glad I went through the whole um, building up my investment knowledge from the wholesaling standpoint and, and, and getting to know a lot of like big time investors because now I kind of understand that mindset versus somebody who starts as an agent and tries to get into wholesaling. It's just a different mindset switch. Um, so I, I feel like the investing game is kind of like a big, like you kind of have to have a very open mind versus like the real estate agent side is kind of like small minded. In my opinion, I'm not in it, I'm getting into it. So I'm kind of starting to see, but um, I feel like since I have such a good grasp on the investing side, it'll really assist me when I get into the agent side and I'll be able to help investors just like me um, do more deals buy fix and flips wholesale I'm still gonna be doing all that stuff so haven't flipped yet I'm not really trying to flip but I will be able to help others who are looking to flip and I think it'll be a great mix I'll be your favorite investor friendly realtor <laughs> but again I plan on continuing to um, utilize this to assist my investing business and this is why you know being able to choose a broker who you know will still allow for wholesale deals and everything like that was very important you know when I get to that point when I pass and you know I'm finally able to choose a broker or work with a broker so that's the plan um, I laid it all out there gave you the reasons you know that's what I that's how I plan on going about my execution and um, yeah we'll see I mean you know I'm never against pivoting in business I'll do what I have to do I never get too caught up or married to one specific way of doing things I'm very quick to switch it up if necessary and I do analyze these things when I switch it up it's important to be able to pivot in business and that's what I'm doing so you know like I said I'm getting licensed for PA in Jersey so if anybody needs help uh, be on the lookout in a month or so I'll be able to help you out so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my journey and what's going on in my life and business. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I'm gonna see you guys later.